Hello friends, welcome. So for the backend we are okay, we have created the CRUD for skills and for the projects. Now let's get started and work with the frontend. In this video I'm going to customize my Tailwind CSS. So if you go to the tailwindcss.com in the theme configuration, here we have an example of what we can do. And let's go in my uh, tailwindconfig.js. And let's remove this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add first, first the font family. And I'm going to say here the, for me, the primary is going to be the play far display. And I'm going to add one more for the body, which is going to be the work sans now if you copy this and if you don't like you can go in the fonts.google.com and search for any fonts you like and add that or so if i paste that here we have and we can uh, select what we want for example the regul regular 400 regular 400 italic, medium 500 and so on and go and you can copy the link or you can copy the import and add that to the CSS. So for example, let's go in my uh, resources, CSS, app CSS and we can add it here or we can copy the link and let's go inside the views up blade and we can add in here i have added so let's remove this i have added the play bar display and also the work sans here so you can do what you want so add semi bold also the bold and extra bold so you can play with that what you want and add to the app blade. Okay, now we have the font family. I'm going to add also the container here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to override the padding to be the default. The default is going to be one RAM and on large, I'm going to say uh, three RAM. Okay, next. So let's close this after the container. I'm going to add extend. And here I'm going to overwrite the colors. Okay, so for when you use extends, we have a right. You go here when you have extend. Extend in the default, yeah. If you'd like to preserve the default values for a theme option, but also add new values, add your extension under the extends. So preserve the default values for a theme option, but also add new values. Okay, so let's uh, go in here and I'm going to add the colors here. So let's say colors. Now for colors, if you go to this colorhunt.co I find this is uh, popular, so if you go to the popular, yeah, this one. And I created my light mode based on this one. So here it is, and also I created a dark mode for this one. Okay, and I'm going to use them. So this is for the light and this is for the dark. Let's come here and I'm going to say colors is going to be light. 
primary and I'm going to add the primary color color here. Okay. Now this is going to be secondary and let's copy the secondary color. The second is the third is going to be light tile 100 and let's copy this and paste it here and the last one I'm going to name it tile 500 and let's copy the color okay paste it here I'm going to copy all of them and now just change this light to be dark. So let's. So dark primary, secondary, and not tail, but I'm going to say Navi here. And now let's go to the dark mode and select the primary color and add here the dark primary. The secondary is this one. Okay, this is the Navi 500. And this is going to be 100. Okay. We are okay with the colors here. I'm going to add also the accent color and I'm going to say here the default is going to be this color here and I'm going to add also on hover to change the color and the last one I'm going to add a paragraph color to be this one. Now also I'm going to add the blue one. Sorry. Blue color. And I'm going to get the colors dot blue. Also add the indigo to be colors dot uh, blue uh, sorry dot indigo and uh, maybe the green color to be colors dot green and the last one the red colors is going to be colors dot red and I think we're okay here. Just we need to import the. So let's. After this one, I'm going to create a cons for colors and require Talion CSS colors. Okay. Let's save that and let's go now and open the app CSS because I'm going to add some classes here. By default, I'm going to add the layer. So let's. let's add a layer here and I'm going to say base and add a body so I'm going to copy and paste here I have created so I'm going to apply the font body what we added in the tiling config.js font body a text paragraph okay and leading six and bg gray 200. I'm going to add also to apply some classes for the heading. So text slate 900 on dark text white and it's going to be font primary. Also for the section I have created some classes. So in, I'm going to apply 
on the section, apply PY12 and enlarge PY32. For the section title, I'm going to say apply text 3XL, large text for Excel font medium and large font extra bold. Okay. Also, I have created a button. So let's paste it here. And here is the button py4 px7 font and maybe just say here px5 uh, not i think it's too much seven maybe six okay uh, and you can find the text of uh, the styles here I'm just going to copy and paste because I want to save some time and also because we are going to have the contact form I have created the input and the text area so let's copy and paste it here here we have the input and the text area and I added this on the dark now here we have bg light secondary on dark we need to say dark bg secondary sorry on dark we need to say bg dark secondary and also here let's say dark secondary text paragraph and all the other classes we are okay and the last one i'm going to create this one which is a just applied text accent here okay friends so that's it about the configuration of my tailwind css and see you in the next video